Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time, 11 years to be exact, since I last made a Minecraft video. For those who remember, I used to create content all about redstone, and today I'm thrilled to be back with something really special. After a lot of tinkering and experimenting, I've created one wide tileable crafter. And here it is. Uh, most of the videos people have posted online um, for crafters have all been too wide and I've been able to compact it down to one wide. Um, it's very simple to create. Um, it only takes these blocks in my hotbar right here um, and I'll just build another slice right here for you. So two concrete there, three glass here, concrete here, two redstone. Uh, comparator here, comparator there, an observer facing this redstone, and then a comparator here, um, another auto crafter, um, and then a copper bulb, and we'll just reset that copper bulb um, to the correct state, um, and then the auto crafter that actually does the auto crafting. Um, up here in this auto crafter, you're going to want to set it to seven of the nine um, so that it's seven uh, power down here. Um, and we'll reset this back again. And then we'll put a hopper on here. And that's it. Um, you can test it by putting items in here. Um, it'll fill up the grid and then craft up the grid and then craft and it's right now it's just dropping to the ground but you could connect this to whatever you want to um if you wanted to craft something else like pressure plates we could do that you just change the grid and it'll just start crafting pressure plates um if we wanted to craft iron bars oh. there we go it'll just start crafting iron bars now uh, if we wanted to do Iron blocks, you just change this to iron blocks. And I'll start dropping iron blocks. Um, this, this works for any crafting recipe that's at least two slots or more. You cannot craft nuggets. Nuggets do not work um, because it's one, one, one crafting slot. Um, but you can do any crafting recipe that's two or more. So we put that in there, now it's going to make shears. And this is one wide tileable, so you can just put all this in here and it's going to craft independently of each other. So they won't, they won't affect each other. Uh, you can also add this to a box loader and a filter. Um, so this is what I have here. So you got the filter here that's filtering items from your water stream and then uh, crafting it with my crafter and then loading it into a, a box loader. So um, that's all I have for you. Um, I know it's been a while, but <laughs> life happens <laughs> and I hope I can bring some more content to you guys.